Scientists at Apache Point University are spooked when signals bounced off lunar reflectors mysteriously disappear during every full moon. The retro reflectors have been sitting on the moon for over 40 years since the Apollo 11 crew deposited the first one. Buzz Aldrin pulls this device out, set it down on the ground, and then made sure that he pointed it very accurately back at Earth. Once a month, as the Earth and Moon orbit the Sun, the face we see becomes completely bathed in sunlight, resulting in a full moon. The astronomers are left perplexed and with no explanation for their full moon curse. For five years, the curse goes unexplained, until in December 2010, McMillan's team shine their lasers toward the full moon as it enters a total lunar eclipse. So at full moon, the surface of the moon is lit up by the sun, it's very hot. During a lunar eclipse, the Earth moves directly between the moon and the sun. Our planet blocks the sunlight reaching the moon. As the Earth's shadow passes across the moon, all of a sudden the temperatures plummet, the sunlight goes away, and we see the signal from the reflectors recover. But the reflected laser light is coming back even stronger than normal. Could the sun's heat be behind the full moon curse? So what they appear to have actually discovered is that these retro reflectors change their properties depending upon temperature. In other words, they, they work differently when they're hot versus when they're cold. The retro reflectors are made up of dozens of small prisms. They are designed to return laser light exactly in the direction from which it comes. However, during a full moon, intense sunlight causes them to warp slightly. The layer of dust will heat up in the sunlight and warm the reflector. That will cause the reflection to be muddled so that it may reflect in multiple directions. That's when their signals kind of go awry. Ancient traditions are easily dismissed as primitive superstitions. But sometimes, science is spookier than our imagination. This is actual scientific research, and it really did find something weird.